Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video we are going to look at how to animate part of a sentence within PowerPoint. Now just to be clear I am using a Winston Churchill quote for this demonstration and what I want to do is I want to animate the change in the colour of the text but I only want to animate so I only want to change the colour, so yeah, to animate only certain words within these paragraphs or these sentences. Uh, the words I'm looking for are the words pessimist and optimist, and the words uh, difficulty in every opportunity, and opportunity in every difficulty. But if I was to highlight the word pessimist, for example, and click on my animations tab, and uh, open up my animation effect options here to go to my font color uh, emphasis effect. What that will do is that will only allow me to animate the whole paragraph or sentence. I can click on my effect options where sometimes you get options uh, such as by paragraph or all at once or by word and stuff like that. Uh, but you don't get that here. So it's not good enough and we are going to need to find a workaround. Now let me just remove that uh, animation by undoing. And what I'm going to do to get around this issue is I'm going to duplicate my text box, my placeholder. I'm going to change the color in that text box. And I'm going to animate the fade out of one and the fade in of the other. So let me start by copying what I have. I'm going to click on this placeholder. And I'm going to use Control D, keyboard shortcut Control D, which is duplicate to get a copy of it. That now looks a little bit messy. I'm just going to move one of them a bit further away so we can see it a bit clearer. And I'll introduce you as well to a really useful tool. Well, I say introduce you, you may know this already. <laughs> but if you don't, this is brilliant, really useful for us right now. It is on the Home tab. And if I click on select on the far right hand side, the selection pane. Now that's brilliant because that will show me both placeholders and uh, these little kind of pictures of eyes. If I click on one of them, then it allows me to hide one of them. So now it's getting, it's not getting in my way when I'm trying to select stuff or format stuff or move stuff. Really, really useful. Now I can focus on what I have. And I'm going to make the necessary changes. Uh, which for me I want to make pessimist bold and I was going to make it like a, a black colour. I was going to do a similar thing to this. Now there may be quick ways I can do this uh, but this will do me for now. It's not like I'm making some crazy uh, long-winded changes. Do, do, do. A green and a bold and I have what it is that I'm interested in. Let me now bring back the other placeholder. Now uh, they need to really be a match in uh, kind of one over the top of the other. Looks a bit silly as it is at the moment. So let me select each placeholder. That one and that one. Oops. Oh, I made a right mess of that. Let me try that again. Here we go. And on the format tab, maybe, and the drawing tools, I'm going to click on a line. Just double check it says align selected objects. And I'm going to align the top of them. I'm going to go back in and align the left hand side of them. I know they're the same size because I duplicated the first one. So I know there's no issue there. It's just a case of aligning them up so they're exactly over the top of each other. Now we can see that the text is not exactly over the top of each other. And that's because I made some of the words bold. So they've increased in size a little bit. And now it's, it's a bit funny and the eye is looking at it like that. But bear in mind, that's not how it's going to look to the audience. So, uh, let me just make my life a little bit easier again by hiding the recent one. So I'm just dealing with uh, the, the, the previous one without the colours. And I'm going to apply a animation effect. Let's go to animations. And I'll go for fade. You know, you've got various uh, options here. This one's actually going to be a fade out. Uh, so let me come to the exit effect for fade. And I'm going to have it... Uh, kind of uh, immediately really so I may uh, just 
reduce that duration potentially can i can i reduce that much more can i make it make it nothing there you go one one second will do uh, i notice also that it's decided to animate each paragraph that's not what i want effect options one object get rid of the whole placeholder the whole text box uh, i have two paragraphs two sentences uh, within uh, this placeholder so that should exit that one let me get rid of that one and bring back the other we select that one use a fade in effect entrance effect for fade this time has the green icon rather than red just double check it's all one placeholder not each paragraph it is double check the speed let's make that maybe maybe a bit quicker than that also we can change these durations etc etc as you wish and important i'm going to change that start from on click to after previous and then maybe let's see this in action if i go to slideshow let's see it in a, a slideshow effect so when i click my button Oh, I haven't, uh, I haven't shown my other placeholder. My apologies. Right, let's bring that back in. Let's do that again. From current slide. Here we go. Now we're in business. So we have the original look of the placeholder. Click a button and bam. We have managed to apply an animation or the appearance that we've applied the animation to only part of a sentence. And we've effectively recreate the emphasis effect of font color here uh, you can apply this logic to whatever animation effect you're trying to do and as a workaround you know in this scenario i have duplicated my placeholder and i've technically animated two placeholders uh, rather than animate the words of a sentence which isn't actually possible or certainly not in the animation effect that i was interested in